Welcome to the Nashville Tribute Band Podcast, The Listening Room with Jason Deere. Coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. The official clothier and tailor of the Nashville Tribute Band is the Cater Shop. That's Cater with a K. Catershop.com. If you see the Nashville Tribute Band and we look good, it's all because of the Cater Shop. Hey! There we go. Look at you! Hey! How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Jason? I'm missing you. I'm so glad that we're talking. Thank you for doing this. Oh, I'm so glad, too. You're welcome. Oh, where are you at home or are you at the church? I'm at home. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let me just get a little official for just a second here. So this is Reverend Joyce Smith from the Community AME Zion Church in Vancouver, Washington. CommunityAMEZion.org, I think is the URL that I have for you guys. Right? That's correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, um, first of all, how's your family? Everybody doing well? Everybody's doing well. Um, can't complain. Mm-hmm. We see God in the midst of this pandemic and mm-hmm. a lot of good things are coming from it. I love it. He seems to be all over the place. Yeah, all, absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Now, you have been a minister for, for how long? I've pastored. This is my 30th year. Wow. Yes. 30 years. Of course, you're only 32, so that's really amazing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so go back go back 30 years ago and tell me, tell me how that all came to be. Wow. Well, it's been a long journey. I was born and raised in the Baptist church. My mother, my grandmother, and grandmother's mother all were Baptists. Mm. Raised in a little small town in Texas mm. called Mahia, Texas. And um, I was literally drugged to church every day of the week. <laughs> and that was for Bible study, choir rehearsal, mission, you mm. name it, BYPU, we were there. And um, I developed a, a love for the church, even though there were times when I'd sit on the front pew while my mother and my grandmother were at rehearsal for the choir, then on Sunday mornings, I retained that same place on the front pew uh, until I got big enough and I just discovered I had a voice <laughs> and that I could sing <laughs> and they did too. So I got into the children's choir. And from that, I just started uh, to study more about God and to love on him. And then of course, you know, in the teenage years, I um, met this guy. <laughs> And um, that's the man that I'm married to still to this day. We just celebrated our 56th wedding anniversary. Oh, I love, I love him. And I'm so happy for you. Oh, yeah. it's It's been a, a great ride, to tell you the truth. But at any rate, when uh, I felt the calling to become a pastor, he said, I can't believe this. He said, I didn't marry a minister. I married you for my wife. <laughs> so... I told him, I said, you know what? I said, I am going to follow the leading of the Lord and whether you accept it or not. And so he just let it, left it alone. And I just prayed to God, you change him because there's nothing I can do. And and uh, it's in your hands and went on. And I, um, I joined the AME Zion Church. That's where I really got the calling and did the studies that they had set aside for us to do. And then I was ordained. And in 1989, I was appointed to a church in Salem. That was like going to the wilderness. I live in Vancouver. The church is in Salem, 68 miles one way. Mm. And I'm working a full-time job Mm. for the state of Washington. But, you know, it was something good about it because where your treasures are, there your heart will be. And my heart was really into ministry. Mm-hmm. So I would go down after work on Wednesdays for Bi- do Bible study. I would go down on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, do what I had to do. But I would go down even any of the other days of the week if someone called, they were sick in the hospital or whatever. And God was with me. But he told us that, right? He said, if you go, I'll be with you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And he was with me. For those 20 years of going back and forth to Salem, did I get weary? Not really. I had questions sometimes. I would say, well, how long, God? But little did I know that he was preparing me for something greater. 
And mm -hmm. even in the midst, even in the midst of all of this, Jason, um, I lost my mother, my son, and my mother-in-law, all three in 1995. Mm, the same, wow. the same year, but yet I just kept going. Wow, that church that I'm in now, community, it's like I was starting all over again, that I had gone full circle because that's where I started in my ministry was at Community AME Zion Church. Mm, well, I have had the pleasure of being in your church and I've had the pleasure of, uh, of getting to know you um, and to, to hear your choir sing with, with my group, uh, Nashville Tribute Band, and be able to feel the spirit. And you, you welcomed us so much and, and we've, we've stayed in touch and I'm so glad we have. It's been a couple of years since we've done it and we're trying to figure out ways to do it again. But let me go back to that really quick. So you, you, why, why did you welcome, why did you welcome us in? You didn't know, you didn't know me from anybody. Why did I welcome you in? I welcomed you in because you were children of God. <laughs> there we and go. And we are brothers and sisters. That's uh, why I welcomed you in. I, I love that. Well, you, you, that's exactly what we felt from the time I walked uh, up the steps of that, of that church. You, you're so amazingly wonderful. And uh, I'll never forget that experience mm -hmm. and for a whole lot of reasons. So here we are in 2020. We don't even need to go into all the craziness because uh, uh, it's, it's a crazy year. It's a crazy oh, yes. year. You, the people, people are, you know, they're unsure, they're confused, they're surprised, they're scared. There's this word fear everywhere we turn and, and lies seems to be just, I mean, lie. Well, I guess the lack of truth is lies, but everywhere we look, we have no idea which ends up right now in so many ways. And what does this all mean? What it was, it, what is it all? What's this year about? Hmm. I truly believe Jason that, this is the year of change. Hmm. There's a scripture that's Romans 8, 28. All things work together for good to those that love the Lord and are called according to his purposes in Christ Jesus. Some things bad has to happen so that good can come out of it. Hmm. And today even as earlier as I was watching the uh, memorial uh, service for George Floyd, and I saw all the people and heard the message and heard uh, the people who had donated and offered so graciously money and planes and funeral costs and all of these things. And I believe that God is allowing us one more chance to get it together. Mm -hmm. I really do. Time for change. Yeah. It doesn't matter what color of your skin. It doesn't matter what denomination. I always say this in church. It does not matter. Mm -hmm. It's all about people, mm -hmm. about us. Mm -hmm. It's about us. I certainly, I certainly believe that. You know, God is not... He's not the author of prejudice. He's not the author of segregation. He's not the author of division. He's not no. the author of uh, hate, but no. he did create skin color. He did. And, and why did he do that? <laughs> the simple reason that we're going through what we're going through now. <laughs> so we could learn. <laughs> it doesn't matter the color of our skin. <laughs> right. We all bleed the same color. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it wasn't skin, we'd find some other way to huddle up and, and, and probably Absolutely. separate ourselves. It's just, it seems like it's just to make sure that we learn how to get along and love each other and, and see, yeah. see, you know, there are those beautiful moments that, that don't happen all that often, but those beautiful moments when we see another human being, and it's usually when we're serving them for whatever reason, because that's when we love them. But when we see people for just as a brother or sister, as a child, as a fellow child of the creator of this universe, and those mm -hmm. pure moments are, they're beautiful. And that's what, yes. that's, that's when all that go, everything goes away. That's, that's uh, good. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, a lot of things have taught me this over, over my lifetime, but it definitely taught taught me this when we came uh, to sing Redeemer songs with uh, songs mm -hmm. just with your, with your congregation and with your mm -hmm. 
beautiful choir uh, and your choir leader, man. She is the bomb. She can lead. <laughs> she, she's be leading that Mormon Tabernacle choir. Let me tell you what. <laughs> she's the, I, love, I love all of them. But, you know, we spend a lot of time in the history of this world and history of this country, especially thinking that if we support other churches or if we're friends with other churches, that we're condoning everything they say and we're therefore hurting ourselves. And we, we draw all these other lines that are different kinds of division and mm. different kinds of things. And what, what you taught me and what, what I experienced standing next to you on that stage that night was mm -hmm. we've we got we, we've got to come together. It takes us all. It takes yes. all of us. We all do different things and we all worship in different ways. But when we respect mm -hmm. each other on how we do those things, whether we agree with every single tiny little bit of it, there's, there's beauty in that. There's beauty in that. Wasn't that beautiful? No, oh, I can it. still remember. Oh my gosh, Jason. <laughs> it was absolutely incredible. As a matter of fact, do you know, uh, the people still remember the Nashville tribute band. <laughs> Well, we haven't forgotten. We got to do it again. We got to figure it out. We got to go do it again. Do it again. It's going to happen. We've got to. It's going to happen. You know, uh, I looked on your website and Larry Peterson wrote this on your website. I don't know who Larry Peterson is, but I, I wish oh, I did. He's a new member in our church. Oh, he is? Yay. Okay. Well, he says this. <laughs> this church keeps the main thing the main thing. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus is teaching how to love others. Pastor Joyce and her husband, Jack, are dedicated, sincere, and grounded servant leaders. They fully trust in and acknowledge God's sovereignty, lordship, and loving power in all they do and all they are able to accomplish for others. The congregation as a whole is the same way. This is a church with a made-up mind to experience the blessing of being able to serve God by serving others. Hmm. Nice. Well, that's not only nice, but I tell you what, the, the, how you know a pastor is doing their job is in the way that people love them. And we, I saw that firsthand and uh, and how your people, how those members of your congregation love you and, and respect you. If you don't have respect, you can't get them to do anything. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that is you know, so true. <laughs> that's things to be. Uh, yeah. Well, tell me, tell me in the middle of all this, tell me some victories and some miracles that are happening in, in, in your congregation in the middle of all this uh, 2020 tough stuff. Well, um, one thing that I am so excited about is that in the last three months, well, March 15th, th this is going to get you. March 15th was the last Sunday that we all were physically able to be in the building. Mm -hmm. And so after the invitation to discipleship and um, the call to the altar, the Holy Spirit just moved upon me and said these words anoint the people hmm. and I called all the people to the altar and babies and teenagers, children and adults and seniors anointed each one of them with oil, hmm. not knowing that the very next day we would be uh, in shelter in place hmm. on shelter wow. in place. Wow. And none of the members of our congregation that I'm aware of has experienced the COVID-19. Mm. Hallelujah. I am thankful oh. to I God. Amen to that. Amen to that. And we have gone live on Facebook for our services. Mm -hmm. And in the last three months, we've had two people join our Facebook live. Oh, that's great. That's yes. Great. Yes. And we've had um, drive-in service since we couldn't meet in the building. Mm -hmm. We had drive-in service one Sunday and uh, partnered with the NAACP and had on the grounds a physician and two medical assistants who gave out to anyone who wanted it free COVID testing mm. oh, for the great. community, for the people in the neighborhood and our church members. That was well received. Oh, that's so uh, then, then the clincher, mm -hmm. this past Saturday, we had a gathering of over 15 cars. We did a um, car rally, a protest for mm -hmm. George Floyd. Mm -hmm. We met at the uh, Vancouver Town Plaza, journeyed all the way down Mill Plain to Warehouse 23 by the river. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. 
<laughs> to see the people in faith. I've lived here for over 50 years. I've never seen the people come together for a cause like that. Wow. As they, as they did on Saturday. So we're doing some great things in Vancouver during and this the pandemic. Circle, to circle back to what you said from the beginning, through the history of the world, the tough stuff has always brought the great stuff. <laughs> that is. No? That's it. And uh, that's and that's that's a be- beautiful thing, and that's you know, and I tell you, in my home congregation, it's been a really in, in my in my home. I'll take this personally. You know, uh, we haven't been able to go to church in, in quite a while either. But the things as a family that and my and my family's tiny right now. It's just my wife and my son and I because <laughs> my older daughter is out of the house. I'm getting old. Uh, but the experiences that we've had as a family on not being able to go to church and and be able to make our home the best church we can on Sundays special beyond description. I know everybody's, everybody's getting virtual church and they're getting, getting their things and those things are so important. But I think the, just the, just the kind of stop that we've had in the last two or three months that have let us kind of reconsider, prior, mm-hmm. you know, it's just a beautiful thing and, uh, and needed, I needed it in my life and didn't even know it, you know, uh, you know, right, right. I know <laughs> we were just on that treadmill, just going, going, going right. And, right. and couldn't get off, you know, that's the, Until this happened, and then we we now know God, we could have died at <laughs> heart attack and died because we just kept going. But it's so relaxing now. It's it's true. It's true. I think we need that sometimes. I think we need that. Uh, well, let me jump back here. So, Reverend Joy Smith, the Community AME Zion Church in uh, Vancouver, Washington. Anybody who's in Vancouver, Washington, on a Wednesday, on a Sunday, uh, anytime they worship. Uh, I can speak for Reverend Smith and Joyce, uh, Reverend Joyce, you're, you're welcome there and, um, go, go worship with them. Anytime you're there. Phone number is 360-693-4566. Amazing people, beautiful people. I, I, I'm so, so glad to know you all. So I have no idea when I, when we make these podcasts, I have no idea who's ever going to hear this. It may be somebody long after you and I are long, long gone away from this world, but, uh, uh, your, your testimony means something to me and the way, the way that you share it with me and the way you love uh, Jesus mm-hmm. and the way you respect the way I love Jesus. That matters to me. And I love you for that. I love you. Love you. All right. Well, let's stay in touch and we're We're coming to Vancouver. I just got to figure out when. Yes. All right. God bless. Oh, you too. <laughs> Have a great day. Love you so much. Tell everybody I said, hi. I will do, and you do the same. All right. Bye. Please subscribe to our podcast, Nashville Tribute Band Listening Room. And please share us with your friends. Tell them about our Instagram, our podcast, and, of course, our music. And please visit us on our Facebook page, Nashville Tribute Band, and hit that like button. And please take the opportunity to visit our store at NashvilleTributeBand.com for music and merchandise. We'll see you next week. Be good and do good things. You've been listening to the Nashville Tribute Band Podcast, The Listening Room, with Jason Deere. Make sure and subscribe to our podcast and share it with your friends. And visit NashvilleTributeBand.com for music, information, and so much more. And make sure and enjoy this podcast each and every week.